Hey, it's Colin Aiken from Tiffin, and today we're going to walk you through the all-new 2022 Beacon from Vanley RV featuring the new floor plan they have. It is a 32 RLB, that is a rear living beacon. Starting with the exterior, we got this full body paint, which is standard on the beacon. This is sunlit sand. A few of the options are fire opal, frosted granite, NASA, silver sand, waterfall, and white mahogany. First, we're gonna start in the front, and then we're gonna work our way around, and then we're gonna show you the inside of this amazing floor plan, the 32 RLB. All right, here we go. This is a one-piece fiberglass front cap. Again, this is a fully painted unit. This is prepped for a five and a half kilowatt own and quiet gas generator, along with prepped for two six volt house batteries. Here we do have the optional surge guard. A couple things to note here is that this is a port for an aftermarket uh, solar kit. And then up here, it is for the light strip that's on that front cap. So quick on and off to make sure that light turns off. All right, let's move to the driver's side. And this compartment is one of your 30 pound propane tanks. Total, it is 60 pounds for propane. This is your pass-through storage. On the inside of this wall is the pad for your six point uh, automatic leveling jacks. And here is a very clean unitized sewer bay, all with nice etched labels so they're not falling off in time. And here you got your electric dump valves, you got your cable hookups, you got your bypass for your water heater, tank fill and city water fill switch right there, city fill, black tank flush, your water filter, your water pump. Up here is actually the disconnect for your water to your ice maker. And then of course, here's your exterior shower. And this is equipped with 50 amp shore power. It is on an electric power cord reel, so it will retract with this button. All right, let's keep on moving. Now that we're at the rear, there's a couple things to note here. Typically, it comes standard with a one piece molded fiberglass rear cap, but it is floor plan dependent. If you get a rear access cargo spot right here, there won't be a, a one piece molded fiberglass. It will just be just simply one piece fiberglass wall. And it also is gonna be on this one. Just so you know, you will get a one piece molded fiberglass rear cap on this 32 RLB moving forward. This is just the first one. We wanted to make sure that you could see it. Uh, so please just know that that'll be the case for the rear cap on this one. And another thing to note, here's a little nugget. This does have the prep for a lipper on the go ladder. And here is the rear access door for your refrigerator. And up above, it is pre-wired for your rear view camera. As we're moving towards the patio side, one thing to note, this is our 50th anniversary for Tiffin, so it, this does get the 50th anniversary decal here. We'll talk a little bit more about these steps in the door uh, as we go into the RV. One thing to know, and this is what I love about Tiffin and Van Lee, is that the engineers always think about what are we gonna use with this space when it's really kind of useless space? What they use with this, and this is actually behind your galley, a space for a trash can chute. So there is actually a little hole in your counter to where you can have a trash can right here to drop the trash in and then it's easy access to your campground trash can. And here is your other side of the pass-through storage. A couple things to note here. This is your disconnect switch for your house battery so you're not pulling any power from the house batteries while you're in storage for long periods of times. And up above here is your 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter standard on this RV. Here is also your port for the central vac, which is also standard on this RV as well. And in this compartment is your other 30 pound propane tank. So that equals again to 60 pounds of your propane tank capacity. All right, let's move back over to the entrance door. Couple things to note. Here's your 10 gallon water heater. You can't upgrade to the Truma Aqua Go Comfort Continuous Hot Water. And then also standard is your two patio awnings. These are a Lippert Solera power awning. All right, let's keep on moving. Now they're at the entrance door. A couple things to note here. I really do like that it has these exterior speakers that are integrated with your JBL house radio. Really maximizes the patio living area experience here. So you do have your entrance door light. 
And then as we open this up, something that's, that is great about these steps, they are a Lippert solid step and we do equip it with a lift assist. So as you lift these up, they do have a gas, these gas struts that allow it to come up easily and then lock into place. Same thing as you're trying to pull them down, it stops right there and then you're able to easily lower them and ease of access into the RV. All right, come on, let's go inside. Now that we are inside, we're gonna start with the rear and work our way towards the front. This is standard, your stainless steel residential refrigerator with great storage above, nice and deep, full coverage of that storage right up there. You do have uh, shelving right here. And again, just maximizing the storage on this rear face of the, the RV, a bank of drawers, soft close. Have you noticed that? Everything has been soft closed with all the cabinetry. And then more storage here. A couple things to note that are new for 2022. We did the linoleum floor and also we took the carpet out of the slide out. So you have this easy transition into the slide outs with no carpet. This is your sea cliff decor with your chocolate furniture. And I mean, look at this theater seating. It is nice and plush. This is your residential style furniture. With the theater seating, you do have one switch to fully recline, let your feet prop up and fully extend. And if you need to prop up right across from here is the 50 inch TV. You're able to prop up with the other button right here for optimum TV viewing positioning. And then the other button, the same button that actually let your feet be propped up is the way it all retracts. Continuing on with the driver's side, you, this is the first time the Beacon has a booth dinette standard in any of the floor blades. This booth dinette does convert into a sleeper. And moving on into the kitchen, this is your stainless steel farmhouse style sink. Really neat for, new for 2022 is the sink cover. Just easily rolls up and stows away like that. Previously was solid surface sink covers, but this is a lot more convenient. Nice storage up above and below the sink. And then great use of the storage in this corner. You're able to access from each door that wraps around, making sure that you can access this anything in this cabinet right here. Speaking of cabinets, this is your shadow cabinetry. And here are your bank of drawers. Again, soft closed drawers throughout the whole RV. And these drawers do take the whole depth of the galley, which is maximizing the stores that you are able to use in this RV. Uh, the appliances here are insignia, both for the convection microwave and for this oven range. And look at this view of this panoramic galley window. One thing to note is that standard is your dual pane windows throughout the whole RV. You do have some storage up above, nice deep and wide storage above the convection microwave. And this is your 50 inch smart TV. And also here's your house radio, like I was talking about outside. This is connected to your exterior speakers as well. This is a nice work prep space for the kitchen. Another thing to note is that you do have solid surface throughout this whole RV. You do have a couple more drawers, nice and deep, and below that you do have your standard 40 inch very on fireplace. All right, right at the entrance door, we're back over here for full circle, is your master touch panel for your spider multiplex, which is your full control of this RV. You do have your home screen, which you do have some shortcuts to your light, or you have your master light uh, for on and off. You do have your temperatures for your two ACs. Now standard for the ACs on this are of two 15K ACs with one heat pump standard. You also have your capabilities, your water pump, tank heat, your water heater, and also, again, there is a page for all of your lights, controlling your ACs and that heat pump, your slide outs, your vent fans, and both your patio awnings. 
the very last screen, this is most important because of the multiplex system, it does give you faults and diagnostics to know exactly what is going on. All right, let's move towards the front of the RV. We are now in the midsection bath and it is a great layout. There is strategic placement for this toilet. And behind that, we do have great storage with a nice shelf in between. This is prepped for a washer dryer as standard. And then you do have, the, of course, the option for a washer and dryer. And behind me is a 30 by 41 shower. This is a really big shower. I mean, think about this RV. This overall length of this RV is 31.3. And to have this much space in this midsection bath, this is compact luxury. We do have this fold up bench right here. We used to do a molded fiberglass bench. So that was always in the way. Now this can fold up. You get to maximize the space inside the shower. A couple things to know over here. We do have a nice medicine cabinet with storage behind. It is a single bowl sink, storage below the sink and a bank of drawers. As we're moving to the bedroom, this is your wardrobe slide. With this door open, you do have a few shelves that do continue on and unitize into this other door right here. And you do have a couple drawers that of course take the depth of the slide out. Again, soft closed drawers all the way through. You do have a nice tall storage right here with a drawer beneath and a couple drawers down here, across from the bed, you do have your 43 inch TV. If you haven't noticed yet lately, you do have these backlit multiplex switches strategically placed throughout the RV. This is part of your multiplex, it's tied into that. So you are able to do quite a few switches and that are really just meant for this particular area. One thing I like that, that it, it is right here is the light master on and off. So if you're ready for bed, you can just simply, oh, I'm gonna turn off the lights right here for the rest of the RV, I'm going to bed. Very convenient. This is a 60 by 80 queen bed. And look at these nightstands. This is a lot of space. Again, solid surface countertops throughout with good storage underneath. And you do have two USB ports here. And again, some more outlets on this side and the same goes for the other nightstand on this side. You do have some overhead cabinets utilizing this empty space where needed, making sure that you have the abundance of storage, again, in this 31 foot, three inch RV. This is incredible. Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough of the all new 32 RLB Beacon. If you have any questions, feel free to contact your local dealer or go to vanleyrv.com.